Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today I have another dump and go crock pot meal video for you guys to enjoy and watch. And I hope that you do enjoy. And if you do, please give it a thumbs up, share this video because sharing and thumbsing it up and commenting and any kind of activities that you guys can do on my videos lets YouTube know that you guys are interested and it, it increases my engagement. Therefore, it lets them or tells them, hey, people are interested, let's get this video out. So yes, I love you guys for all of the engagement that you do put on my videos and every time that you share and if you are new here, please subscribe. Lots more Dump and Go Crop Club videos to come for sure. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these bees. <laughs> and without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm really excited for this dinner because this is going to be slow cooker chicken Alfredo pasta. And I love Alfredo. Like y'all, I'm telling you, I love Alfredo. I make my own Alfredo sauce and it is delicious. However, it is very, very high in fat. It doesn't microwave well the next day. It's not great for leftovers. And it's just very, very high in fat and calories. So fingers crossed that this tastes amazing. And what you're going to need is a pound of chicken breast. I have all of the ingredients listed on the screen currently, but I'm just gonna go through them real quick. You're gonna need some shredded Parmesan cheese, some cream cheese, some chicken broth, some, this is like garlic, herb, and wine seasoning. The recipe calls for herb and garlic seasoning. You can get the packet or you can try to find um, a McCormick herb and garlic seasoning, however you wish. Um, you're also going to need some salt, a pound of chicken breast, and then at the end of cooking, you're going to need to create a cornstarch slurry, which is going to be one tablespoon of cornstarch, and one tablespoon of water, and then you're also going to use 16 ounces of whatever pasta you want. So I just have to say this pasta was insanely delicious. It did not taste like Alfredo sauce, but it was so good. Literally, me and the kids were fighting over the leftovers. That's how good it was. So this recipe, I highly, highly, 100% recommend and double it because it's gonna go fast. Okay, so it's actually only been three and a half hours for me, but I could smell it and I can tell that this chicken is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out of the crock pot, trying not to grab a bunch of this um, cream cheese with me. Just trying to just get the chicken breast, which there was three in here, I believe. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my slurry, which is one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water. I'm gonna go ahead and just shred this chicken like this, which I will link this down below. It's in my Amazon favorite store. I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this together, add in my pasta, and we're gonna let it cook for 30 to 60 minutes. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy So here is our chicken Alfredo pasta. Alfredo, it does not taste like, but it is definitely delicious. Something I highly recommend. Um, for a side, I would do a side salad or some garlic bread. I was gonna do some garlic bread, but the kids were like, no, nah, we're good with just the pasta. So that is dinner number one. It is a hit, highly recommend. I will see you guys tomorrow with tomorrow's dump and go crock pot dinner. Tonight we are making buffalo chicken chili. I'm so excited for this. So what you're gonna need is two cups of chicken broth. You're gonna want some buffalo wing sauce, cannellini beans, which you're gonna wanna rinse and drain, some fire roasted diced tomatoes, a packet of ranch seasoning, 
Uh, this is your little seasoning mix. Half a teaspoon of each of these and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. So you've got garlic powder, onion powder, cilantro, some a pound of ground chicken, and you definitely want to brown this up. So there's some ground chicken, and then on the top is going to go a one an eight ounce block of cream cheese, and I always use the one third less fat. So we're just gonna go ahead and dump all of this in the crock pot. We're gonna cook this on low for um, about eight hours, and let's do this. You guys, stop what you're doing right now and take screenshots of the ingredients, like go back a little bit and take the screenshot of the ingredients and the instructions because you are going to want to make this recipe and have this in your rotation. It is absolutely and it is absolutely delicious. Unfortunately, my kids didn't like it because they are not a big fan of cream cheese and it does have a whole block of cream cheese in it. But me, whew, if you are a fan and your family's a fan of cream cheese, Y'all are going to love this recipe. It is insanely delicious. And you can also add blue cheese crumbles if you want to. Oh, so, so, so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get this one. Make it and let me know in the comments down below what you and your family thought of it. about everything that was on our mind. So I don't know how, but I forgot to add in half of a cup of corn. So we're just gonna go ahead, actually it's a cup of corn. We're just gonna go ahead and do that real quick. I'm trying to avoid the cream cheese. There we go. Now we're going to cook it on low for eight hours and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So it's been nine hours and this is what it's looking like. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of break up this cream cheese and kind of get it incorporated. Ooh, that's looking good. It's smelling really good too. Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Okay, so here's the chili. I've already tasted it, and you guys, you so need to try this. It is delicious. It is definitely, definitely delicious. Um, on the side, I just have some homemade tortilla chips that I wouldn't recommend because they don't taste good, but I'm going to eat them because I made them. Um, but yeah, that's this dinner, um, and it's super delicious. Highly recommend. This dump and go crock pot meal is a slow cooker Philly cheesesteak sloppy joes. These were incredibly delicious. Everything in this video was incredibly delicious. But as you can see, the ingredients and the instructions were on the screen. So um, all throughout the video, every single recipe is going to be on the screen and the instructions. So that way you can easily screenshot if you want to do that. Um, but here I am just cutting up some bell peppers and you don't have to, um, if you want to buy all of this stuff frozen, you can totally do that. But sometimes I just find it relaxing to chop. Um, so as you see, I'm using frozen onions. So I just kind of do what feels right, I guess. So I'm putting in some frozen onion and then I'm going to put in my chopped bell peppers. And then in a minute, I'm going to chop up some onions. No, we already did the onions, some mushrooms. Um, and I'm going to use my little chopper, which I highly recommend because it makes life so much easier. I do not like chopping uh, mushrooms at all. I don't know why. I think it's the texture. But yeah, my little chopper did the trick. And I will link it down below because it's something I highly recommend. And it is something that I seriously cannot live without. I will also link my cutting board down below too because I always get so many questions about it.
Okay, here is this deliciousness. It smells really, really, really good. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour that cheese in there. That was four ounces. I personally have reduced fat cheese. You can do whatever kind of cheese you want. And we're just gonna let this melt. And then I'm gonna put, put them on some buns and I'll show you my plates in just a few minutes. Okay, so this is what this deliciousness looks like. Y'all, this is another highly recommend, super, super, super delicious. I just have it on a brioche roll and then I also have some dill pickle to the side. And then I, uh, this morning, sauteed the rest of the mushrooms up with some frozen onion and I just have that on the side. So yeah, super yummy. Um, this also was perfect for my little family of four, three. <laughs> I only have a family of three, not four. Um, and yeah, there was one extra serving. So there was a total of four servings. And if you have a bigger family, obviously, or more people to feed, then you would definitely want to double this recipe, but it was perfect for us. So highly recommend, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another recipe. Okay, so tonight we are making creamy chicken tortellini soup. So you're gonna need some chicken thighs, some diced up carrot, which I've already done, some salt, chicken broth, garlic powder. All of the ingredients are on the side of the screen right now, so you can take a screenshot. Um, we also have tortellini. This is the dry tortellini. So you get that on the pasta aisle, cornstarch, and evaporated milk, which we're not gonna use until this is all cooked. So this is what's going in the crock pot at the moment. And then we'll come back and revisit these once all of this is cooked. Sorry, I'm like out of breath. I'm uh, in a hurry because I'm about to go meet with someone. But yeah, I need to go ahead. I was like, oh crap, I need to go ahead and get dinner started. So we're gonna go ahead and dump all of this in the crock pot. Like the instructions on the side say, four to six on low, six to eight on high. Let's do this. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that, that you miss As you can see here, I added the pasta and you're supposed to shred the chicken before you add the pasta. It wasn't a huge deal, but I just wanted to mention that you should probably do that first, then add the pasta, then add the evaporated milk. Okay, so it has been on high for 30 minutes. Hold on. There we go. I don't know about this one. Like, I really want to like this one, but for some reason I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. I mean, it's tortellini. Hold on. I feel like I need to turn the brightness down. There we go. I'm like, it's tortellini. So, yum. I love tortellini, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and bowl this up. Okay, so I tried it, and this is really good, actually. I'm really impressed because all four recipes that I have shown in this video are spectacular and video or recipes that I'm for sure going to have in my rotation. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe if you are new here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.